and welcome back, Mandy with My Hectic Life Pets, where we talk about all things pet and pet related. And today we're talking about salmonella. So lately I have been getting so many questions about what the risks are from owning a reptile or amphibian and getting salmonella. Is it dangerous to keep these animals in your home if you have children? So reptiles and amphibians tend to somehow get the brunt of this that you can contract salmonella from them. And while it is true that they can carry and spread salmonella, they are not alone. Several different types of animals can actually bring this disease into your home, and some of them might really surprise you. Not only can reptiles and amphibians bring this into your home, but according to the CDC, also poultry such as chickens, ducks, geese, and turkeys, other birds such as parakeets, parrots, and wild birds, rodents such as mice, rats, hamsters, and guinea pigs, and other small mammals like hedgehogs. Farm animals such as goats, cows, sheep, and pigs, and horses, and cats and dogs. So unfortunately, reptiles and amphibians do tend to have the worst rap when it comes to salmonella, and it probably doesn't help that there is a lot of fear-mongering about this, which is strange because so many different species actually carry it, not just reptiles and amphibians. Now, it doesn't help when there are stories like the one about the African dwarf frog that are circulating around the internet where there was a large outbreak of salmonella amongst African dwarf frog owners. Back between January 1st of 2008 and December 31st of 2011, 376 people were diagnosed with salmonella. Children, of course, were the main victims of this, and it kind of caused an uproar in the pet care community about the African dwarf frogs. Unfortunately, with all the people that got sick, everyone that they interviewed, only 17% of the people that owned the African dwarf frogs actually were aware that they had a potential risk of salmonella. Now, one of the big fears about this outbreak was no one actually touched the animal. But what they found was that many of the tanks were kept in bathrooms near toothbrushes, and that people were cleaning the tanks in their sinks, in their kitchen, near food prep areas, and in the bathroom, again, near their toothbrushes. And they weren't taking proper precautions to make sure that there was no cross-contamination. I mean, a little Clorox wipe can go a long way, and making sure that you're not emptying and scrubbing out the tank right next to your child's toothbrush is always a good idea. Now, children under five tend to be more susceptible, as well as adults over the age of 65 also are more susceptible to getting salmonella. Now, with children under five especially, I personally would not let them handle any of the pets without adult supervision because children under five have a terrible tendency to stick fingers in their mouths or touch their face or their eyes or pick their nose, let's be honest. And if they're handling one of their pets and you're not around, they might stick their fingers in their mouths and get feces, particles in their mouth and just, you know, make sure that you're watching your children, especially if they're young and have a bad tendency to skip hand washing and stick their fingers in their mouths. So you just wanna take extra caution with them being around children. Adults over the age of 65 tend to have a little bit more compromised immune systems, a little bit weaker immune systems, so they are more susceptible to catching something if there is something to catch. So the biggest thing about salmonella is that you want to make sure that you're being mindful of it being a possibility and that you are taking proper precautions such as wearing gloves when you're cleaning out your animal's habitat or having to pick up any feces, then I would make sure that I was wearing gloves. Making sure that you're washing your hands after handling your pet. If you're cleaning out their tank, make sure that you disinfect the area around the tank and not just in the tank after you're done cleaning. If you are using the kitchen sink to do water changes on an aquatic frog's tank, then I would definitely go ahead and use some disinfectant on that sink and the area around that sink. Just basically 
proper hygiene and keeping the areas around the tanks clean as well as always, always, always washing your hands after handling your pets. I personally have kept a lot of different species of animals over the years and I personally have never had any types of issues with salmonella. I clean all my tanks on a weekly basis. So I always disinfect the areas around the tanks after I'm done cleaning them out. As well as I always try and wear gloves when I'm cleaning out my terrariums. And when I used to own rats, I used to wear gloves when I would clean out their tanks as well. So I hope I haven't scared anybody away from pets. I just want everybody to be informed. Because the best way to prevent it is good practice, good hygiene, and that can go a long way. There is always, always a potential risk, but I have had pets, many different types of pets, for well over 30 years, and I personally have not experienced any kind of issues with salmonella, and neither have any of my family members. I worked at a pet store. I was constantly handling pets and cleaning out cages. I also worked at a vet's office, and there I was handling mostly sick pets and I have never contracted salmonella personally. So I hope this better explains how risky salmonella really is and what you can do to avoid it. Unfortunately, a lot of pet stores when they are selling animals don't really go over salmonella. So really simple, just keep everything clean and wash your hands. Don't eat or drink or touch your face while you're handling your pet wait until after you've washed your hands thoroughly before eating or drinking or anything like that and more than likely you'll be okay so that's all for today's video if you liked it please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where i post new videos every week thanks for watching guys bye